11. I want to thank God for these young people. Come on, give Hallelujah. Me. Glory. Hey. Thank you, Lord. For the Reunited with Christ ministry. Yes. Thank you. Quantos, if you can, turn it out for me. First Peter chapter five. And we're going to look into the first verse of First Peter. Word of God reads Whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ, I'm sorry, that's first John. Huh. Uh -oh. First Peter five. The elders which are among you, I exalt, who am also an elder. And a witness of the sufferings of Christ. And also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Feed the flock of God which is among you. Taking the oversight thereof not by constraint but willingly. Not for filthy lucre but of a ready mind. Neither as being lords over God's heritage, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, ye shall receive a crown of glory that faded not away. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you, be subject one to another and be clothed with humility. For God resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. And this is where it gets rough at times. Huh. Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, your adversary is not people. Huh. It's the devil. As a roaring lion walking about, seeking whom he may devour, whom resisted steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. But the God of all grace who have called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, established, strengthened, settled you. To him be glory and dominion Forever and ever. Amen. Can you say amen? Amen. Can you say amen? Amen. I'm going to use for a topic. I got to keep on. I got to keep on. All right. It was Charles Lingenberg who quote and I will quote. He said. Uh -huh. If I had to choose, I would rather have birds than airplanes, unquote. Huh. The reason why I quote him is because an airplane stands in the need of help to operate. It stands in the need of help to function. I'm trying not to split them up over there, but they youngster don't know me that well. 
is in the need of someone to help it try to fly. But a bird needs no assistant. It just takes off. A bird don't need any help. It just flaps its wings. All right. And when it gets tired, mm -hmm. it knows how to soar the skies and just allow its wings to carry it to its place All right. of destination. Mm -hmm. So now, Qantas, there is a question uh -oh. asked every time we find ourselves sitting still. And the question is, why is my life the way that it is? How can I get from where I am Damn. to where I, I need, need to, to be? be? Oh, wow. Why do I live in a particular location? And yet I have to witness and adhere to so much violence. Uh huh. Most of the times, and many of times, when we are not doing anything with the time that we are given on earth. Uh huh. We have to come to find out that Satan loves to come showing up upon us. Yes, he do. Trying to increase our fears. Mm. Trying to intensify our doubts. Yeah. And trying to distort our views so we can have unbelief. All right. But you got to understand that every time that the enemy shows up unannounced, every time the devil shows up unwelcome, then that truly means that God is behind the scenes getting ready to prepare a move in your life that you and the devil himself don't have any control All over. Right. Uh, because when God gets tired of Satan just showing up unwelcomely, All right. then that signifies that God is about to move me from where I am to where I need to be in God. And that's why Satan is there standing against you, trying to withstand you on every hand. And he comes against everything that the Lord has called to be so in your life. Oh, yes. I'm going to the mountain. All right. Life. All right. Satan loves to try and accuse you before God. He cannot wait till you do something that is not right in the eyes of other folks. And then he goes and he points you out to God and says, did I tell you that that person was going to do this, that, such, and the other? And when he point out your faults to God, and he points them out in high hopes and in expectations that the Lord would do us what right. he did Lucifer and his angels. Are y'all right. yeah. And that's when you remember when they fought against Michael and his angels. Uh -huh. God cast them out of heaven. Michael and his angels warred against Lucifer and his angels. All right. But yet and still, Michael and his angels won the battle. All right. Now, Lucifer and his angels, they lost their deity and their immorality. They was uh -huh. no longer uh, uh, immortal beings. They became almost like physical humans. They was able to bleed and they was able to die. And what happened was as they fought, the Bible begins to tell us how Satan All plans right. are coming now. He's walking around with a voice that is not his, standing behind something that can reverberate or echo or amplify his vocal. In other words, Satan will stand behind a lion, pull his All tail, right. and make him roar just uh -huh. to see if you are afraid of the Come lion. On, yeah, I just wish I could talk to some God. folks here. So he says, your adversary, look at somebody and say, it's your adversary. It's your Tell adversary. Tell him, and don't try to get it on me and, and say, my adversary, my adversary, if you want to talk Ebonics, yo, yo. you're Adversary. No Come adversary. on here, somebody. Uh -huh. So either way it go, it's still your adversary. Your adversary. Uh, look at your neighbor real quick and say, he's not coming for me today. He's not coming, he's for, coming, me. For, you. He's coming uh -huh. for you. Look at somebody on the other side of you and say, if you stuck up, if you stuck up Satan already got you Satan choked up. Already got you got to be careful because he's still coming for you. Uh -huh. So the Bible says that your adversary, the devil, uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
In other words, it's not your mama when she cuss you out. Uh, she's not your adversary. It's not your daddy when he puts some on your butt. He's not your adversary. Um, can I talk to some folks right. here? Okay. It's not your friends that seem like they hating because they telling you that they don't want to be down with the job right. that you're doing. Uh, right. They're not your adversary. Call them a hater if Come you want here. to, baby. Right. But they are uh, not your adversaries. Uh, touch yourself. Say, they not my adversaries. They're not my uh, adversaries. Uh, uh, not, they're not the ones. Uh, so they are not, but the Bible say that it is the devil. And what is the devil like? It's like unto a royal lion seeking whom uh, he may devour. He comes not but to steal, kill, to kill, kill and, and to, to destroy. destroy. But when you know Jesus, then the thing that should have wiped you out yeah. and kept you from the Lord Come on uh, here. is the thing that God used as a weapon that was formed against Jesus. you. Uh, but right. God turned that thing around. Wow. Yes, he, did. Uh, he turned that thing as a tool and an instrument uh, to work for your testimony. So uh, while the devil is busy messing, God is getting ready to be blessed. Uh, can I talk to some folks who don't yeah. look like Alice in Wonderland on today? Uh, y'all sitting there looking at Come me like I'm here. scandal. I just shaved last night, Whoa. so y'all just wait on me. I'm getting there. So yeah, go God there. wants to get some glory. You must don't have shaved too. There. But God wants to get some gl glory out of your life. Mm -hmm. And it's here uh, then that you got to understand that whenever we are dealing with anything uh, that comes from the enemy, then we must have on the whole armor of God. Yeah. Uh, uh, look at somebody and say, put on the whole armor of put God. Uh, uh, armor. Tell them, say, I don't mean to be rude, but your clothes might be, be half naked. Uh, but don't let the armor be half dressed. Come on here. Somebody. Uh, tell them, say, I need you to put the helmet of the salvation helmet. on. Uh, put the breastplate right. of righteousness. Yeah. Tell them, say, I need you to take the sword of faith. I mean, the shield of faith. I need you to take the sword Whoa. of the spirit yeah. and put your shoes on your feet. Yeah. Tell them, because we getting ready to go in some We're hot water. So water. your feet got to be shown with, with the, the preparation, preparation of the gospel, gospel of peace. Right. And tell them, don't worry about nothing. Have your waist girded up with, with truth. truth. Talk to some yeah. of these God folks. Yeah. Sometimes you just got to be like that old song said. Put your hand on your hip and let your backbone slip. And you got to tell them, I'm coming out of some stuff. No matter what it looks like, the devil is a lie. God has my life in his hands. Uh -huh. It's here that we got to understand when we dealing with the devil. Hold on, D-Man. You ain't in the band. Uh -huh. This ain't just a Then you got to understand that we got to have on the whole armor of God. Yeah. So that means that we are able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Because why? The enemy doesn't just come for no reason. Every time he shows up, then that means that God is about to move in our lives so right. fast that even Satan alone can't stop it from coming to pass. You remember when God said, I am the Lord thou God, I change not. If yeah. I say it, I shall bring it to pass. Come on here. Now, do you remember? further down when he was talking about bringing to Come pass. Out here. He was telling them that if they do according as he said, then he will bless them in the city, bless them yes. in the field, bless them when they come, bless, bless them when they go out, bless them in their storehouses, bless them with the bars, bless them in their fruit of their labors, bless them in their wombs. If they don't obey, then quickly I'm going to curse. In other words, I'm going to let Satan come in and have his way. But just when the devil thinks he's going to destroy the life, that's when I stand up off the throne and I say, no weapon formed against him is going to prosper. Uh -huh. God is moving on somebody right now. That's why you're going to drop a couple of friends. God is moving in my mind. That's why you're going to let go some associations. God is moving in my house. That's why you're going to stop doing what you used to do. And just then when you thought that everything looks hopeless, that's when God will roll off the throne again and stand up for you and tell you, get back. The battle is not yours. It belongs to me. Oh, look at your neighbor and say, don't make my God go gangster. Tell him, don't let my Jesus get bought. Tell him, 
devil is messing with me, God will stand up and fight for me. Now, is there any really witnesses in this house that know that the word of God says, Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. Look at your name and say, God is a bad God. The town say, Jesus is a bad boy. Tell him he ain't Mary's baby, he a grown man. Now he know the earth this Tell him, Jesus, we will fight my battle. Uh huh, and God will stand up. Uh, he'll step in again. Elder, he'll step in yes, again. He will. Minister Lonnie, he'll step yes, in again. He when haters hate on you, he'll step yes. in again. When folks scrutinize you, he'll step in again. Yes. When they scandalize you, he'll step in again. Yes, when they doubt you, he'll step in again. Yes. When they don't celebrate you, he'll step in again. When they writer wrote and I'll quote again life is not a problem uh, to be solved uh, but it's a reality to be experienced unquote uh, um, for y'all who think you got problems in yes. life uh, uh, you see we blame things that we go through on life uh -huh. uh, we blame things that we go through in life on people yes. uh, now ain't this contrary uh, we blame we things do. we go through on life uh, and do. then we go and blame the things that we're going through in life on people uh, then we do it again and put it on places uh, yeah. then we do it again and we put it on things uh, because we have this huge inner struggle going on uh, and on the yeah. inside of our minds and instead of releasing ourselves uh, from the burdens that life throws at us uh, right. we put up the shield in front of everybody. I'm talking to me. Yeah. Trying to get them to see what I see. But the devil is a liar. The only way to deal with what life in itself has to offer, such as trials and tribulations, oh, hey. is to take the mirror down and face it. You have to face your problem head on. Hey. Look at somebody and say, don't be scared. Don't be don't scared. Face it head on. Don't be, head don't be on. nervous. Don't be face nervous. it head on. Face face head on. Don't clench up. Don't face clench. it head on. Tell them, don't draw back. Face it head on. Tell them, don't go in a nutshell. Face it head on. Can I talk to me? Don't you back up and cry to me. Uh -huh. Face it head on. Because when you and I, when we face our struggles, and when we face the things that we have to deal with, yeah. we face it head on. Then that is an umbrella that God puts over his people. Yeah. Why would he put an umbrella over me, you may ask? It's simple because when the devil gets ready to rain down his lightning yeah. on you, God is there to cover you. Yeah. So every time the yeah. enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against the devil. Uh, you got to understand, uh, he put up a shield in front of everybody uh, yeah. so that they can see that God is yeah. blocking. Uh, uh -huh. I know what the scripture says, uh, that all things are possible to him that yeah, believes. Uh, but that comes a time in all of our lives uh, to where that which seems as possible uh, don't always feel like it's possible. Uh, uh, that come a time in all our lives uh, that that thing that looks like it's possible uh, it's just out of my reach and it seems like it's going to be impossible. Yeah. Uh, it'll make you dig a hole in your scalp uh, yeah. trying to figure out your next move. Uh, they see him looking like just a cheater. Uh, 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 it'll make you pull the weave out of your hat. Uh, and be talking about I can't believe it. Uh, because my life has a way uh, of pulling you back down. Uh, uh, I know what you say. That all things are possible yes, uh, to are. them that believe. Yes, uh, but the time comes in our life uh, that when the thing that looks like it should be uh, seems like it will not be. Uh, and it's through the power and the anointing of Christ Jesus uh, yes. that when he strengthens us, uh, we can step up and say, I can do all things uh, through Christ which strengthens me. Uh, and just because you don't see nothing happening right now uh, does not mean that God is not pushing you uh -huh. Yeah. You got to understand uh, that it may got the devil face on it, yeah. 
Yeah. But it's God behind the scenes. Uh, uh, can I talk you to better you pray. Uh, Satan may look like he's on the forefront. Yeah. Uh, but God is behind Have the scenes. Uh, yeah. Working on the master plan. Right. Uh, we may get off that phone. Uh, uh, to uh, it doesn't mean uh, that you got to stop pressing through. Uh, that doesn't mean that you got to stop encouraging Come yourself. Out here. Uh, that does not mean uh, that you got to stop praying without ceasing. Uh, that does not mean that you got to stop believing in God. Uh, I don't care what folks for saying. Yeah. Uh, don't you stop fighting. Uh, yeah. Don't you stop believing. Uh, yeah. Don't you stop pressing. Uh, right. Don't you stop holding on. Uh, because things are looking shaky right now. Yeah. Uh, only means that God is keep on moving for yeah. you. Uh, uh, tell the devil, uh, if God brought me out of the past, yeah. I know you're out of this present. Uh, stepping into my future. Uh, if God can bring me out of what I did before, uh, then I know when it comes down to God again uh, that it ain't nothing too hard for God. Uh, uh, I don't know if y'all ready for this, uh, but I feel like shouting on y'all. Uh, Understand, uh, and just because there is a no, uh, uh, listen to that word. Uh, just because there's a no over the doorpost, uh, yeah. doesn't mean that your no means you can't not be. Uh, uh, you got to understand uh, that God says no. Uh, Mm, I feel like preaching, huh? but the Whoa. devil says yes. I'm just going to stick right there with God huh? until and he turns no around. Huh? And when he turns no around, huh? then he can talk like bone crusher. Huh? I ain't never seen. Hey. Then he can tell me, huh? like Pastor Troy, huh? it's so now. Huh? We ready. Huh? I don't know if y'all hey. ready for this. Oh, around uh, that means oh, it is over. Uh, like easy, he is on now. Uh, uh, they ain't gonna preach with me, uh, but I preach like I feel it. Uh, we get your neighbor and say neighbor. Uh, we got to keep on keeping on. Uh, Y'all ain't talking enough. Uh, just give me a few more minutes. I'm going to get you there. Uh, uh, you got to let the devil know. Uh, uh, just because there is a no uh, over the doorpost of my deliverance uh, doesn't mean that I can't reverse the word. Uh, I can't turn the word around to make it its own uh, uh, and watch God move into my future. Uh, you might as well go ahead now uh, and start putting your hands together early uh, and giving God some praise. Uh, but you have to be together now and give God some praise. Why? Because he's getting ready to open the door next move. You've been thinking because it's this. And that means no. God say no. It's because of this. That I say it's on now. You can have God. Can I talk to somebody? Shake somebody by the hand. And say no. The shell. Uh, uh, tell him you got to stop lying. Uh, saying I can't do this. Uh, the it devil is alive. Uh, what you can't do alone uh, does not mean God can't do it through you. Uh, 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 look at somebody and say, neighbor, uh, I can't pay these bills uh, all by myself. Uh, I need God to move for me. Uh, tell him I can't handle another theft, uh, another F on my test. Uh, I need God to move Glory. for me. Uh, tell him say, I can't handle another death uh, in my family. I need God to move for me. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I can't handle another door being closed in my life right about now. When it comes down to me having the job, I need the God to move for me. I need God to move on my behalf. I need God to move in my circumstance. I need God to move in my Falling short in. I need God to move in that trial that I can't seem to get the victory over. I need God to move on my that I can't seem to talk to and see eye to eye with. I need God to move on my daddy that I can't seem to give because he walked out of my life as a kid. I need God to move upon some folks because I'm tired of dealing with them. But I need God to deal with me. I need God to move. What you're saying. Uh, uh, it is here then uh, that we find out what Peter said. And Peter is an elder. Uh, he's an elder of the apostles. Yes. He started writing his letter. Uh, yes. When he wrote the letter, he got it out there to the saints. Uh, yes. And this is what he said. He said, There is a mixture 
a mixture of people in the body of Christ and he said we're going to have some elders who are among us yes. they are not partakers yes. he said now there are some yes. who are going to be with us they're going to be partakers yes. of the suffering and not only partakers yes. but they're going to become witnesses yes. of the same sufferings not the sufferings of what we go through yes. But the sufferings of Christ yeah. They don't look like us And they don't look like right. What they've been going through Look at you right. And ask your neighbor Say neighbor Have you been like What you've been going through lately Look at your yeah. neighbor And say neighbor yeah.
move. What the hell I be going through? Tell them God had to move. Oh, y'all ain't talking to me.